Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, I am going to discuss an interesting short story, The Last Leaf, written by a famous short story writer, O. Henry. O. Henry was an American short story writer. His stories are known for their surprise endings. His stories reflect his own experiences in Texas and New York and also include plot twists or unexpected changes in the plot. Two of his most famous stories are The Gift of the, the, Gift of the Magi and The Ransom of Red Chief. It tells the story of an old artist who saves the life of a young artist dying of pneumonia by giving her the willpower to live. In the process of saving her, the old artist falls ill and dies. The characters in this story. The first character we find here, John C. John C. is a young artist from California. She lives with you in a studio apartment in Greenwich Village and she has a long dreamed of visiting Italy to paint the Bay of Naples. She falls seriously ill with pneumonia. The another character is Sue. Sue is a young artist from Manny. She is very close to John C. cooking for her, caring for her and financially supporting her in her illness. The next character is here Bahrman. He is an old artist who lives downstairs from Sue and John C. He has been painting for four decades without any commercial success, but still, ho but still hopes to paint what he calls his masterpiece. The last character is here Doctor. He is a very busy old man with shaggy eyebrows who attends to John C. and Bellman. He diagnoses John C. with mental as well as physical illness. Summary of the story. Sue and John C. are two young artists, sharing a small flat on the third floor of an old house. Once John C. falls very seriously ill in November, she has pneumonia. Soon she gives up hope for survival. The doctor who attends her does not see any positive change in her condition. One day, the doctor tells Sue that John C.'s chance of survival is very limited unless she has something to hope for. She has made up her mind that she is not going to get well. If she loses her hope to live, medicines will do nothing. Sue tries her best to make John C. take interest in things around her. But there is no response from John C. She always lies still on a bed looking at an ivy plant through the window, gradually losing its leaves and has taken, has taken it in her mind that she will die when the last leaf falls. Sue continues to convince John C. that she is foolish to pin her destiny to the survival of the last leaf on the vine. The old ivy leaves have nothing to do with her getting well. The doctor is confident that she will get better. John C. is too depressed to say anything. John C. keeps on counting the remaining leaves on the creeper. One day, Sue informs Beherman an old fellow artist who is the downstairs neighbor about this, he is annoyed that John C. has such little hope. He is aware of her wish to die when the last leaf falls. Bahman comes to their room and finds John C. asleep. Sue draws the curtain together and they go to the next room. She peeps out through the window and sees only one leaf on the creeper which seems to fall any time because it is raining heavily and the icy cold is blowing. Baherman does not say a word. He goes back to his room and decides to do something for John's life. He paints a similar leaf and sticks it on the creeper while John is sleeping. But walking in open during the extreme cold and heavy rain cost his life. He dies of pneumonia. Next morning, after a vicious storm, John C. sees the last remaining leaf still clinging to the creeper. She is filled with hope. She decides that she wants to continue living. She thinks that there must be reason that the leaf has refused to die and it's a sin to want to die. John C. soon recovers from her illness. After some time, Sue informs John C. that Beherman had died of pneumonia, contracted while living, while being out in the wet and cold, painting the last leaf, Bahman had finally painted his long-promised masterpiece, the leaf, which saved John's life. 
sacrificing his own life in the process. The main theme of the story is hope. The author aims to highlight how important it is for a person to have willpower and hope. John is provided with new hope when she sees that the leaf that is supposed to decide a fate is not falling. This shows that even a small act can light the lamp of hope in a person's heart. Another main theme of the story is sacrifice. Bahman sacrifices his own life in order to get some hope to John C. He is aware that John C thinks when the last leaf falls, she will die. So he sacrifices his own life to paint the last masterpiece of his life. The ivy leaf on the tree was painted by him so that John C could live her life and have hope. Dear friends, this story reminds me a famous dialogue by Hindi movie Doom Three. बंदे हैं हम उसके हम पे किसका जोर उम्मीदों के सूरज निकले चारों ओर इरादे हैं फौलादी हिम्मत हर कदम अपने हाथों किस्मत लिखने आज चले हैं हम आज चले हैं हम सो बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक बी पॉजिटिव कीप वॉचिंग मुकेश इंग्लिश डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक यू कैन रीच मी एट मुकेश इंग्लिश एट द रेट ऑफ जी मेल डॉट कॉम सो स्टे कनेक्टेड विथ मुकेश इंग्लिश